How's it going, YouTube? Dallas Boy here, back with another Pokemon Black and White Wi-Fi battle. In this battle, I'm going up against Des and Dash, who I ran into on NBZ streams while I was asking for a UU match. He accepted, and uh, this is the battle that happened. So, uh, looking at teams, I'm looking at Magnetric and Togekiss, and looking at them as pretty big threats. Magnetric having pretty good coverage against a good chunk of my team, and Togekiss... Just being an annoying pain in the butt, having access to nasty plot, and can potentially paraflinch everything. So, uh, pretty much my main, my main members of the, of this team, of my team for this battle are going to be Rhyperior, Umbreon, and Heracross. So, uh, keep them alive, and I should be A-OK -okay for this match. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this battle, and let's get this show on the road! So I'm going to be leading off with my right period for two reasons. One, predict Ambi upon the lead, which he does, and two, try to set up some stealth rock. But I can't do so on the first turn because Ambi Pom does, does go for fake out. And uh, yeah, Rhinox is pretty much my best thing to uh, take fake outs and whatnot on the team. And here I predict some Blade All to come in to uh, try to rapid spin my rock wave. But I do go for the Mega Horn, but unfortunately I miss. But eh, uh, what can you do? And uh, that's kind of been my. That was pretty much my luck in the in, in a battle prior to that. But Claydol sets up Stealth Rock, and this time I hit my Mega Horn, and if I had hit that first one, then this Claydol would have been gone, and I wouldn't have to worry about him rack spinning away and stuff. But now, I know that he doesn't want to take another Mega Horn, so I'm just going to predict him to switch and set up my own rock. He does go into Registeel, who punches me with an Iron Head on the next turn, and then follows up with the Toxic, and pretty much hinders my... Rhyperior's um, thing and capabilities and stuff. But I do, I do slam the um, Wretched Steel with an Earthquake, and that is, and that looks like a 2 -hit KO. But, and uh, that, this pretty much shows why Rhyperior is not something to mess with if at all. And after that seismic toss, Ry Rhyperior is going to be taking out Wretched Steel with, with one more Earthquake, and I take a pretty early 6 5 lead. And after the toxic damage, he's gonna be sending out Big Burst with the Machamp. And, and yeah, I just can't help but to laugh, laugh at that Machamp. But now, obvious dynamic punch is obvious. I'm gonna be switching the Chandelure, punch it, and then set up a substitute for whatever reason. And he goes for the payback, and uh, I realized that I pretty much wasted the turn because I could smack this Machamp with the Fire Blast and potentially take it out, which I do here. Except for the part of take it out, because it lives with, like, I don't know what that is. Probably Smithception. And I get, t get taken out with the payback. But this gives me the opportunity to go into my Blastoise, and go get off a Rapid Spin, and pull off a Rapid Spin kill. So, uh, both for that, and I regain the lead by four, and I'm just rambling. But anyways, here comes me Neck Trick. Obvious, Electric Attack is obvious. So I'm going to be switching to Rose Raid, but he goes for the HP Grass, what I assume, predicting my Rhyperior to come in, and uh, I was actually kind of fearing the um, HP Grass, so that's kind of why I went into um, Rose Raid. But uh, out comes, out comes Claydol, which is Sleep Powder, and yeah, I pretty much called, pretty much figured that he was going to switch, because, well, it was most likely a choice scarf to me and Ectric stuff. But now I'm just going to be going for the Leaf Storm, and I pretty much know at this point that nothing on his team would want, would want to take Leaf Storm. And Ambipom pretty much fights us there, and after it does, out comes Togekiss, and I have to go into my best thing to sponge this thing, which is my Umbreon, and he predicts the switch and goes to the Nasty Plot, and this Togekiss is immediately looking scary. And, and uh, Plus two wars here to Umbreon does a pretty dang good good amount, and unfortunately I do not have any attacking investment in Umbreon. But yeah, who would put any attacking investment in Umbreon anyway? So payback will be doing nothing. And Tokus is gonna go for the air slash as I set the wish. And here I'm gonna predict him to go for the nasty plot and set up the plus four. So he does that, and I'm just gonna be going for the heal bell predicting that to get my right period back up in shape. And that is gonna come into a little bit of play as you will see later. So um anyways after all the leftovers and such 
and yeah, this is pretty much me just scrambling. He's gonna go for the air slash once more, and it's gonna cause me to flinch, which pretty much leaves my Umbreon as dead, so I'm gonna leave, leave, leave it in as death fodder, as Togekiss is going to go for the fourth sphere, and take my Umbreon flat out. But, and I think from this, from at this range of health, that I can send in my Heracross, which is nicknamed Rest in Peace Darkrai, to come in and revenge kill this Togekiss with the Stone Edge, right? Right? Wrong. It just lives with about 82% mm, of itself, I want to say. But whatever. I just get taken out by an Air Slash. <laughs> and here, I kind of thought that I was screwed, but then I checked base speeds and whatnot. And I pretty much and I pretty much found out that Rose Raid is faster than Togekiss. So I sent her out and go for the Sludge Bomb and take out that big threat. Now, um, Main Nectar comes in. I don't want to take an overheat from the thing, so I'm going to be sending in my Rhyperior. <laughs> that's take the overheat pretty nicely, and this does pretty much confirm that he is choice and somewhat, pretty much choice Scarf. And with Leftovers and the Toxagon, I'm able to take this overheat, and that's why the, um, Heal Bell from earlier came into play. And there I just went for Megahorn, kind of predicted the plate all to come in, because, well, <laughs> Maybe he kind of thought that my Rhyperior would have died, but now out comes this Claydol who should have been long dead, and he's pretty much crippled for at least one turn, and uh, yeah, he's just going to run there, and that will be the game. Yeah, I believe it was a 3-0, but still a pretty fun match, and that Toby Kids gave me a pretty good run for my money, I have to say, but with, with a little research and stuff, I much took care of that after Heracross got off that Stone Edge. <laughs> if that Stone Edge had missed, then yeah, I probably would have been screwed in this battle. So, uh, yeah, that was a fun game, Biz and Dash. So, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time!